I guess this episode is uh, effects uh, two, and yeah, I'm just gonna make some more effects. It's again probably gonna be a short episode, but yeah, okay. So first, uh, let's make some uh, blocking and parrying effects. So I'm just gonna time lapse that again. After you got your uh, effects ready, then just uh, open your comment module, and it's also open our block, uh, our comment server. Copy uh, actually copy Nola hotline, but go into <coughs> your uh, office for no 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 let's first of all go into our vfx all clients and uh, copy this two times and call it once blocking hit and parry hit uh, we don't need this and we also uh, we, we can let that stay there but change blood effect, we can change this to block effect. And instead of copying the blood, copy our block. Uh, block. Block, yeah. Block. That's attachment. And send it to our enemy's torso. And here we can of course not call it just parry. Uh, parry effect, not parry hit. Parry effect, boom, and it's parry. Okay, then go into your comment module. Here, at your parrying. Oh, we can also make some guard break effects, but I'm too lazy to actually uh, to actually uh, make new ones so i'm just gonna copy the block one and call it guard uh guard break for now then you can call uh, copy this even once more and call it guard break and here the guard break and you can also call this guard break effect Okay, then go into your combat module and uh, no, combat module. <laughs> in your com, uh, doch, uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. In your combat module, then here, uh, you will fire the VFX remote event. So replicate storage, wait for child events, uh, interfects events. Wait for child uh, VFX. We don't actually even need wait for child. Uh, they should be loaded in already. Dot events dot VFX. Uh, fire all clients. Um, and then our. Uh, and just copy it from here. Uh, here, copy. And just copy this um 
Aber was ist das? Wait a second. Oh, I think I just found something. Oh. No, okay. Uh, yeah, copy this. Paste it in here. But we don't need our current combo. We just need this and this. And we call this to parry hit. Like in here. Parry hit. And there yeah, we don't need our hits here. Um, <clears throat> then copy that for the guard break. So the parry hit but uh, guard break. And uh, here for our blocking. Uh, block. What did I call it? Blo blocking hit? And b -b 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 blocking hit here. Yeah. Okay. Actually, just uh, higher up that sort of shape. Is it this? Yeah. I think we shouldn't make this just fire client, not all clients. Okay. Uh, okay, let's try. Yep. Blocking effects for the parry effects should, uh, should change it to the upper character, not to ours. And what did it still do with the guard break effects? Yeah. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, Guard break, guard, no, not guard break, but parry. Parry in here. Uh, not our. Okay, we should actually also send our other character. Uh, so, set this here, comma character. And then uh, put character in here. But then we need to go back to our comment server. Uh, here, line 63. And add our uh, enemy uh, humanoid parent here. Okay, let's try that out. Yep, okay. Okay, now we added some effects. I don't know why. Oh wait. Okay, there's there's an error. Uh, fire client. Okay, wait. There are so many errors. What the fuck is this? Wait, why isn't the? Uh, why isn't all of this loading? Uh, okay, but we fire client. All right, we need to fire all clients. Oh, right. Okay, okay, okay. Because uh, it's 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 yeah. That's why. Why we get some? Why do we get some katana eye script? Oh, wait. These are scripts from a uh, from this dummy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, those were just some katana animations that I basically reused. Yeah. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay. I was already wondering. I was so confused. Uh. Hey, okay, we get no errors now. Okay, nice. But we can even uh add some more things. What could we add? When you get parried, you could add a, like a blur to our character's field of view. So make sure you have a blur, uh, prop, a uh, blur, blur object in Lightning. It's best if you have it enabled and size at zero. Then we can go into our command module. Um, 
and in here we just do replicate search uh, dot events dot vfx fire client uh oh wait no i think it actually works it works uh, fire client but uh yeah we need our player here and wait which which player would we want to fire to right yeah just type do we have the player yeah, we got the player so change this or oh, it's the camera shake that we got in here we'll check the camera for every player um then let's continue here uh, fire client uh we don't actually got the player in here but we can easily get the player like this local player is game get service uh players the player service get character uh, get player from character and then our enemy character then player and parry effect let's call it parry, parry effect then go into your vfx client not all clients just client copy this uh what did we what did we just call it parry effect right and in here just do uh we can actually just get a lightning service up here so local lightning is and get service lightning then also get the tween service local ts is game get service tween service then lightning dot uh blur dot size is uh, let's say 15 and then we're gonna do a twin service create a uh, lightning dot blur uh, twin and blur dot new so the time it takes to twin let's just put it at one second um Mm -hmm. and then the size is zero and play so basically what we are doing is setting the blur size to 15 to this and then we tweet it to zero again in one second okay let's try it out nice Maybe the one second is too far, but you get the point. Okay. Yeah, I think this wraps up the video. Um, have a nice day. There will just be, I think, just one more video where we be, where we will be fixing some bugs. There's one kind of big bug, and I mean it's not that bad, but it's it's just messing with the animations, you know. Uh, I can just show you the bug. But then I'm, I'm gonna have to figure that out how we are going to fix it. But yeah. Okay, so uh, you see. Uh, uh, when I slash, yeah, the walk animation just stops. I mean, if I stop moving, then it's place again, but we will have to see how we fix that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this was everything.